I'll polish ten toes down. Hello everybody, it's Mariah and welcome back to my channel. If you are new girl, go ahead and subscribe down below because you are going to love it here, okay? And the time is currently 10.51 p.m. It's Thursday, January 11th. And my mom and I are going on a last minute girls trip and I'm so excited. First, we're going to Puerto Rico, we're going to San Juan. And I've actually never been to Puerto Rico before, which is insane because you guys know I love to travel. But for some reason, I just literally never been to Puerto Rico. So first we're going to Puerto Rico and then we're going to the Virgin Islands. We're going to St. Thomas and I'm really, really excited about that because i've always wanted to go to the virgin islands and even better we're going to st thomas so i'm really excited about that like i've always heard so many cool things about the virgin islands and i just always wanted to go so i'm really excited for this trip y'all i feel like traveling is my love language which coincidentally is also my mom's love language so this is our thing we just love to like pack our bags and just go like traveling is like therapy for me and it's also my love language so i just feel like it just goes hand in hand and even though it's thursday and this day is technically over over. so we're just gonna go ahead and say it's friday it's friday and we leave on sunday my flight leaves sunday at let me see what time my flight leave on sunday my flight leaves sunday at 7 15 a.m 7 15 in the morning which means we have friday and saturday to get my hair done get my nails done get my pedicure get my wax pack my bags and be ready to travel on Sunday morning okay now honestly I'm not really stressed I'm not really stressed about this because this is last minute and honestly I'm already like a spontaneous person anyway so honestly I already knew this was gonna be like a very last minute like type of thing and for my hair I'm getting small goddess like knotless braids the girl that I usually go to that braids my hair obviously she's not gonna be able to take me because like I said this is so last minute so I found this um African braiding shop on TikTok here in Atlanta and I'm gonna go there tomorrow morning i'm gonna be the first person at the salon um i dm'd her on instagram she said they don't take appointments so we're gonna have to walk in and just pray for the best hopefully it's not too busy and i'm able to just like walk in get my hair braided and call it a day and normally i like wash and blow dry like my own hair but i need my hair professionally washed so i just want to lay back in the bowl and just let her massage my scalp and just give me the best washing experience possible and i saw their work it looks really nice do you guys know um some braiding shops be like old school like real stuck in their ways they're not really hip to all like the knotless braids and stuff they still do the box braids braiding your edges in this ain't that i checked their work the work is valid i'm going and i'm hoping for the best i'm kind of worried about it but then again i'm not like i should be fine it's just like i'm very like particular about how i like my hair to look like i have certain people i go to for my braids certain people i go to for my natural installs like just different stuff like that so i'm crossing my fingers that this is not like a what I wanted versus what I got type of thing. And I really wanted to keep this natural install in my hair now. As y'all can see, I've been itching it the whole video. It's time for it to come out. It's time for it to come out. I was gonna get it reinstalled and like have like my little side part, you know, natural install for the trip. But my leave out is tired. The leave out is tired. And I need to give my leave out a break. So I'm gonna um, do these braids for now and we gonna just rock out like that see i'm getting my hair done tomorrow morning and then saturday i want to get my nails and my pedicure my wax depending on how long they take for my braids maybe i can go to the nail salon but then again it's like i hate going when the nail salon's about to close because i feel like they be rushing and my nails be looking crazy so i don't know maybe we'll just like schedule the nail and like pedicure wax stuff on saturday and as far as outfits i told y'all this is like mad last minute so nothing was really gonna come in time anyway you guys know fashion nova does have that like overnight shipping which is so tea because it literally will come the next day but when i was on there i couldn't really find anything that was like giving like i know it's not like vacation season so they're not like dropping new like some suits like vacation sets and stuff like that so a lot of the inventory on the website is like old i've already worn it already have it or i've already seen it all over instagram or it's like from last summer or like last spring break it's nothing like new and fresh 
for 2024. So I didn't have any luck on Fashion Nova. I couldn't really find anything that was like, oh my God, like I need to order that. But luckily you guys know I travel like kind of frequently. So I do have like swimsuits and like vacation sets from other trips that I haven't worn that I'm just gonna bring on this trip instead. So as you can see, this is very much go with the flow, very much, you know, we'll just see what happens, whatever happens, happens type of thing. I also need to go to Sephora to get two lip glosses. I need to get, um, Oh, and an eyebrow pencil. I need to get the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I've been loving that lip gloss so much. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I also want to um, re-up on my... What's the name of that lip gloss, y'all? The Fuzzy Heat by Rihanna Fenty Beauty. I need to go get that as well. And my eyebrow pencil... I need to make a list in my phone of like everything that I need to get. And of course, I'm going to go to Target to get like some travel essentials like that type of thing oh i want to go to forever 21 because forever 21 has like some of the best like fashion jewelry so i want to get like some bracelets and like some big like chunky hoops like some anklets and, like rings and stuff like that so i'm gonna go to forever 21 i have so much to do in like basically two days like two days i have to get my hair done get my nails done pedicure wax all these mini trips to target to ford to the mall like i have so much to do and i have to pack and i literally don't even like know what i'm gonna bring like i know i have stuff to like wear but like do i really have like full complete fits like i don't even know i have no idea and i'm super tired i'm literally exhausted and i'm gonna go to bed early tonight because i need to be the first person there tomorrow at that braiding salon like i'm not playing like i literally have to be the first person there i need to go ahead and set my alarm because i know if i stay up later than like 12 it's gonna be so hard for me to get up in the morning so I'm about to go to bed, but I'm about to set my alarm for 8.30. So here's what I have to do. So if I want to be able to like actually like get up and like be dressed and ready to leave by 8.30, I need to wake up at like 8. And in order to wake up at 8, I need to set my alarm for like 7.30. Let me see. No. Where's like the loud alarm sound? Okay, wait. Yeah. And then we're going to do another alarm at 8 a.m. Okay, cool. All right, y'all. So the alarms are set. The alarms are set. We got one for 7.30 and then one for 8 a.m. So I can be up and dressed at the house by 8.30 and heading over there. I might as well, um go make me some tea and take a shower, do my skincare. I'm literally so exhausted. Y'all can probably tell by how I look. I had such a long day today. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get ready for bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. As you can see, girl, we have arrived to the braiding salon and I'm really excited. I did stop at the Salty Donut and I got me a salted caramel latte with oat milk and it's so good. Let me tell y'all, I guess everybody had the same idea that I had today because I got here at 9.35 and I was already the third person in line the third person in line y'all so we had to wait i don't mind waiting because i had nothing else to do today but i really wanted to be the first person here then again i'm like what should i get done to my hair because i was gonna get you know small goddess knotless waist length but it's just like i don't feel like being here all day i really only wanted to get that if i was able to be the first person here like in and out super fast i wanted to be done before five y'all know i still gotta get my hair washed and blow dried and i just don't want it to take all day like i just don't want it to take all day maybe i'll do like a little bigger like medium knotless i don't know we'll see i'll update you guys once we get started <laughs> Now, oh my god, did to go down on, on, on Mondays. Elle même elle a rigolé en fait. Then we gotta do the calls. Experience, they, they, they're very good. Puis c'est, je pense que ça c'est le, le travail de, avec son mari. Donc elle a eu qu'un seul enfant pour son mari. Tu sais, cela veut dire que c'est ton carte d'anté. <laughs> Il est parti de dire ça à quelqu'un. Et voilà, les gars. Quand il y a des enfants, quand il y a des enfants,
Oh, nggak mak. She making money. girl it's the next day okay i haven't talked to y'all in what feels like forever last time we talked i was getting my hair done and update i literally am so obsessed with it like i wasn't expecting them to eat down the way they ate down like girl like honestly everything is perfect the length the size the parts like wow this is like a masterpiece literally like it just looks so good i have nothing bad to say no complaints um only thing i will say is though it took her a very long time i didn't leave till like 11 30 at night so yeah there's that that's why i didn't talk to y'all after i got home because i was literally so exhausted and not to mention it was so far out of like where i stay so the drive girl i was sitting there starving my butt was hurting like it was just a lot going on honestly i have nothing bad to say like she literally ate down the parting is like my favorite and these are actually like small braids i hate when i say i want small braids and the braid size itself be small but the parts be big like don't finesse me like that don't finesse me like that then it be wanting like 500 dollars what are you talking about? Are you dumb? So I'm super happy that the parts are actually like small and it's full. Parting is honestly what gagged me like the most because it's actually like small. You know, the braids are small, the parting is small, and it just looks so good. Look at my little baby here, y'all. She ate down. She ate down. But anyways, as you can see, girl, it's the next day. Um, I did go to breakfast today. I tried this new breakfast spot. It's called Corners Cafe. It was really good. I had some pancakes, which is crazy because I don't even really eat pancakes like that. I'm more of like a waffle girl, but I was just feeling pancakes today. And then I had some eggs. I had some sausage. And I had a latte, which was very good. So I'm excited about that. And then once I left breakfast, I went to go get my nails done and my pedicure. And when I tell you, like all of my beauty services have been a 10 out of 10 experience. Like these nails iconic so here are the nails super cute classy and casual love this then for my toes you guys saw i got french on my toes as well it looks really good everything is really good all the same size real sharp and crisp just how i like it and i don't know if it's just me but my braids don't be eaten till like the third or fourth day so i like them but i have to get used to them i haven't had braids in months literally probably since august no 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 yeah, August, because me and the girls went to Tulum. That's the last time I had braids, y'all, and it's been so long. And I don't know, I gotta fill myself out with braids. You know, let a little bit more edges come out because my forehead is forehead, y'all. But it literally looks so good. And it's so loud! It looks so good. And honestly, honestly and truthfully, I thought it was gonna be more. Believe it or not, this was only 320. 320, hair included. And she washed my hair, y'all. She washed, blow dried my hair. Cause I told y'all I ain't feel like doing it. You might have to sacrifice, you know, your whole entire day. And by no means am I exaggerating. I really should have vlogged. I didn't get home till like 11 30, 12 a.m., y'all. 12 o'clock at night. I didn't go to bed. After I got home, I took a shower and everything. And then I was like in the bed by like 1.30. Like honestly, I was expecting to be done at like 8.30, 9 at the latest. But I don't really know. Y'all let me know. Like I don't get my hair braided frequently. But I feel like like almost midnight. That is like actually insane. But anyway, I'm really excited. I came home and I had a package notification delivery. So we're gonna go ahead and open that together. Let me go ahead and get it. I have a feeling it's from my aunt because she told me that she's gonna send off my gift. 
So let's just see if it's from Auntie, okay? So here's the package, okay? Let's see what is inside. Wait, how can I see who's sitting there? Oh yeah, this is from my auntie. And I know she gonna watch this video and be like, oh my God. <laughs> I really need to invest in a box cutter because what? Okay, black box. Okay, ooh, Bloomingdale's. Auntie. Auntie. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. No, you didn't, girl. No, you didn't. 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 This is just like too good to be true. Okay, so let me show y'all what my auntie got me. She got me this really nice mug from Kate Spade. This is like key to my heart. You guys know I love coffee. I love tea. And I just love like personalized things and like even better personalized mugs. So I got this really cute mug from Katie. Kate Spade, girl. This is so freaking cute. And I literally cannot wait to use this. And this was like so sweet of her. She also like packaged, um, I'm assuming a few of her like favorite teas for me to try. So I'm definitely gonna be trying these out. Like this is so thoughtful y'all. So nice, love my auntie down. And the grand finale, <laughs> are you guys ready? Let me know if y'all are ready. Like, let me know if y'all are ready babe because the arm candy just got upgraded, okay? The arm candy, just got upgraded. She honestly did her biggest win. Like this is so nice. Talk about a nice like simplistic luxury piece. This is giving and I literally like, I could cry. <laughs> like, like this is so nice. Like my arm stack is really giving. Like when I tell you I've always wanted a bracelet like this and it's just Stunning. Like, do you guys see? Like, girl, my auntie really outdid herself. Today's a good day. Today's a good day. Hair done, nails done, everything big, did, whatever he said. All right, y'all. So now the only like maintenance thing we have to do is the thing that I have been avoiding the most. It's my wax. I actually hate getting waxed. And whoever lied to y'all or to me and even said like, oh, the more you get it, the less it hurts. That is BS, okay? That is like so BS. I've been getting waxed for going on like three years now. Like consistently getting waxes. Like I can't even tell you the last time I shaved. Like I have consistently been getting waxes and it hurts every single time. Now what I can say is I do notice like when I am on top of, you know, exfoliating my bikini area, all that stuff, it hurts a little less. But girl, it's still like very 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 painful so honestly i've been avoiding it i don't want to go but i know i need to go but truthfully like i just do not want to go i don't feel like squirming and hurting today like i i just don't feel like doing that because as you can tell i'm in a really good mood i got my little new bracelet from my auntie and got my hair done got my nails done and my toes done and i'm in a really good mood and that's just gonna blow me like that's just gonna make me like really just like shift my energy you know what i mean so i'm not looking forward to it but we do have to go yeah i'm about to go ahead and head over to my wax appointment and sephora and where else i gotta go girl i'm gonna see y'all somewhere else on the way all right y'all so a little update we have arrived to the wax place and i'm actually terrified i've just been sitting in my car waiting for my appointment time i'm about to go ahead and head in here i'm not bringing my camera because i ain't got time for all of that so let me go ahead Ooh, let me go ahead and get out child and most likely i will see you guys once we get to walgreens okay y'all so we're at walgreens and this is a brand i normally get by kiss but i'm trying to decide which ones I want. These are a little too dark because what I do is I like to stack them anyway, so I don't think we're gonna get these. I don't want it to look like too, too dramatic. So I think we're gonna get these and just like kind of stack them. I also don't like these either, like they're too long. The ones I normally get are out of stock, but this is like the brand. Ugh, that's so annoying. Okay, whatever. We'll just get these. And then all the travel stuff is right here. Let me see what this is. 
I don't need no shampoo and conditioner. Oh, they have a little green tea, cucumber, mini body wash. I guess we can bring this. Only three bucks. And eucerin. Oh my gosh. Definitely need some eucerin for sure. I'm also going to get some makeup remover wipes as well. Dang, the selections really suck. They barely even have anything for like edge control and stuff. But I have to get something because I don't have anything. Maybe I should get Cantu Extra Hold Edge Stay Gel. But I heard Cantu like it's not good for your hair. I don't know. I don't really care, honestly. So they don't have many options for edge control. This is like the best thing I've seen. So we're just going to pick this up. We got everything from Walgreens. Um, I believe so, so I will see you guys once we get to the house. Let's go ahead and do a little Sephora haul, a mini haul, because girl, they barely had anything in stock. Um, I only got two things, what I told y'all I was gonna get. I got this Anastasia Brow Definer pencil. I always get it in the shade Chocolate, and it just looks like this, super nice. This is really good, but it's also super, light if that makes sense not light as in color but like light as in like when i'm like doing my eyebrows i have to really like press down to get a good like grip on my eyebrow does that make sense i don't really know if that makes sense but that's how i feel this is so good i love this so the brow pencil is on one side y'all see brow pencil is on one side then the eyebrow brush the bristles on this side is so convenient so handy i really really love this see so yeah, i got that and then i got my dior lip blow oil in the shade cherry honestly i wasn't like really upset about the fenty because honestly girl i have been loving this like way more when i tell y'all this is so good i'm about to use some right now because my lips as you can see are like really dry it's kind of cold out and i was on my balcony this is so nice. Mm. Like, let me show you the applicator if you guys haven't seen it already. But this is like, this is just, it just glides on my lips so nice. And I am honestly in love with it. So y'all girl, that's what I got from, um, what's this called? Sephora. That's what I got from Sephora. I'm about to go ahead and grab all my little vacation pieces. Um, we're gonna throw together some outfits, some like swimsuit looks and we're gonna see what we have to work with. This is literally gonna look iconic on me. I know for sure I'm getting pictures in this. It's like this cute top. I don't know how my titties gonna fit in there, but we gonna make it work. I got this in a size small, I think. Yeah, I got this in a size small. And it's just so cute. Like the bronze brown color and the nice like jewel piece in the middle. She's super cheeky too, y'all. Like she's so cheeky. I'm thinking about doing this, right? with maybe like this cover up. I got this from um, a boutique in Miami when I went to, where did I go? Grand Cayman. So you can wear it as a dress or you can like kind of wear it as like a skirt. I wore it as a skirt before, so I may probably do it as like a dress or maybe even like a head wrap type thing, you know? Like maybe like a head wrap. Oh, wait, okay. Like y'all gotta see the vision, like I don't know. Like a cute, like, you know, that's, ooh, cut on my braid. That would be so cute. Uh, and I feel like it just complements the swimsuit like so much. So this is like one of my swimsuit looks for sure. And then I also have this cover up that I ordered from Fashion Nova a while ago. It doesn't have to be a swimsuit cover up. I could wear it as like a cute outfit with some heels, but like, I don't know. It's just that this is like super, super short. So imagine it's like this on me and you see where it's stopping. This is like literally where it stops. And y'all know I got all this back here, baby. We can't be having my booty cheeks out. Okay, y'all. So this is another swimsuit. It's also from Fashion Nova. I never got a chance to wear it. It's just like pink and it's like a one piece. Very sexy, very raunchy. <laughs> like this is giving like, yeah. So I was thinking like this, but like this don't match this vibe. Like these are two different vibes. And this swimsuit is from PLT. Kind of hard to see what it looks like because it's so light in here, but it's a cream color, it's a one piece. And it also comes with this super cute skirt and it just matches and it's so nice. And I also have two of these. 
One of them I wore in Vegas. One of them I have never worn before. So I'm thinking maybe we can do the brown one. The brown one just gives like more vacation vibes. It's this cute little um, see-through little skirt thing. So cute. And it comes with these little bottoms. So I could like get in the water with this versus the black one. The top is untangled. It looks like this. Really cute. And then the skirt. Y'all get the idea like... Real cute, it's giving vacation, bottoms like this. So I think I'm definitely gonna bring this one. But I also have this swimsuit. I've actually never worn this or taken pictures in it because it's actually freaking huge. And this is a small, whose waist, like my waist is not this big. This is a small y'all. Oh no, it's not a small, it's a medium. <laughs> That's why I can't fit it. It's so baggy on me, y'all. Like, it's not flattering at all. I don't know why I ordered a medium. I should have got a small because this is just like so big on me. It sags in the front and you can kind of see like, you know, I might can finesse it in a picture, but like definitely not like long wear type of vibe because we can't be exposing the good. <laughs> we can't be exposing the goods, y'all. We can't do that. And then I also have this dress. This is so so nice like all this stuff is so nice and i'm really in love with everything like i don't know why i don't be wearing this stuff this is so cute it's like a little dress and it has a little situation here at the bottom that i really love and this is just like so perfect for like dinner or like a walk on the beach you know toes in the sand or you could dress it up like i said for dinner with some heels a cute little bag you know maybe go ahead and like put the hair up you know Put the hair up for the vibes. Nice, grown, and sexy. So this is so cute. And it also comes with this lining in the inside. Can y'all see? This lining so that it sticks to your skin. So I love that. I probably will do a montage of me like packing everything. Shower and get dressed for dinner with Tally tonight. So we got a lot going on. And my flight is at 7 a.m. in the morning. So we got a lot to do. So let me go ahead and take care of this, y'all. And I will see y'all in a little bit. Uh. Don't play with a don't be dishonest. Still try to understand and it's logic. Yeah, I'm back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I wanna give you better. Baby, it's whatever. Somebody gotta step up, girl. Man, somebody's on the next up. Damn if I let them catch up, it's easy to see that you fit up I am on a whole nother level Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him Fuckin' girl, I guess you didn't know any Girl, that man didn't show any Do all I can just to show you you're special Certain it's your love that holds me together Lady, you say he be feelin' her Gotta be sick of this Pull up skirt, get in the right Left hand is steering, the other is gripping your thigh Light up a split and get high and shout at you Alright y'all, so of course, we are rushing but really quick, a uh, quick little OOTN outfit of the night. Um, outfit is Fashion Nova. Super, super cute. She give money her body tea. Yeah, so cute and super sexy, but also like covered on the bottom, like not too much. Um, we also have the shoes of the night. Fendi, of course. Um, my arm candy and I'm wearing my bracelet my auntie got me today. Super cute. And for earrings, these are from Fashion Nova as well. Um, what else? Yeah, that's the outfit. And I'm also gonna wear my trench coat. The trench coat, I always get so many questions about this. It's actually from Zara. I bought this when I was in Detroit. They have the best Zara ever, literally. And it honestly elevates every single look. Like you see how I just threw this on? It's giving you all the vibes, like a cute little trench. And for my bag, this is actually my first time wearing this bag. Um, it's from Kurt Geiger, Kurt Geiger, Kurt Geiger, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's from Kurt's. Okay, she's super cute. It has a chain strap, but I kind of want to wear it as like a clutch tonight. Like, oh, like, you know, it's $20 or y'all, like, you know? So super cute and simplistic, but like still a statement. Love her Dion. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, fragrance of the night is 
My fave, as you can see, is literally halfway empty. YSL Labre. And I'm just really excited to see my girls before I go out of town, y'all. Like, prioritizing your friendships is very important. So if you haven't hit your homegirl up to go out to eat in a little minute, hit her up. I'm pretty sure she would love to go out to eat with you, okay? So I'm putting my shoes on now. And I'm debating on if I should call a car or should I just drive, y'all? Driving in Atlanta is like insane, I'm sure y'all know. And the parking over by where we're going, like it's street parking and I don't want nobody to bust my windows out of my car. Like this is Atlanta, baby. Like anything happens in the A, okay? The A is where it's crazy. So it's giving call a car, okay? And I also hate driving. And I know we're gonna have um, some lychees tonight, lychee martinis. So yeah, I should probably call a car. And I'm also gonna bring some um, sunnies as well. Just because I want to look extra, okay? You don't got to be no sun outside to wear some slinnies, okay? This is my last night in Atlanta, and I really want to just give, like, you know? I'm going to go ahead and call my car, and I will see you guys once we get to the restaurant.